We're gonna take our shifter, set it in place. <laughs> oh my God, that is going to be so wicked. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna be taking it old school. And by old school, I mean we are going to be working on jack stands in a garage, which I actually haven't done in probably two or three years. I started off in a parking lot outside of my apartments. Then we moved into nicer apartments and started working in a garage that I was renting for $125 a month. Then after that, we moved out and I actually ended up getting my very first ever shop. But eventually, we all made the decision to move to Georgia. So from this point forward, videos are no longer taking place in my shop. Up. We are actually going to be in this garage. So we're starting off with Zoe's first ever short throw shifter. And this is one that I'm real excited for. So now for the short throw shifter that we have going in the car today, the Cooler Works 350Z short throw shifter. And before we get started with this install, I have to say huge thank you to Cooler Works for actually sending this to me. I am so fucking excited for this thing. I've had this car for so long and I've been running the stock shifter. This is about to be the best upgrade for this car. You know, aside from a pro charger. Check out their shifters, see if they have one for your car. And now let's get this installed. So if you can't tell, this shifter is actually pretty tall. Usually whenever you get short throw shifters, cheaper ones especially, you're keeping your shifter assembly that comes with the transmission. And then sometimes you'll just shorten the overall height. As it goes lower, it reduces the amount of throw that you have for shifting in the gears. But this one's different. This one replaces the entire shifter assembly and actually raises the pivot point to above the trans tunnel. That is going to change the geometry of your shifter and is therefore going to give you a shorter throw. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do to install your shifter is honestly gut your entire interior. Wait a damn minute. Not literally. Just remove everything that's covering your shifter assembly, like the shift boot. I don't have any of that because the car is gutted, obviously. I'm five steps ahead of everybody else on this install. So we're gonna take our shift knob off and get that off, spin it all the way up. And then we're gonna remove our boot. So then once you get the boot up, pull it off because you don't need that anymore. So now you got these three tins right here. You wanna remove those and take off your reverse lockout because the new shifter has a built-in reverse lockout. So you're gonna lift that up, set it right there out the way. There is one bolt connecting the shifter to the shifter linkage on the transmission. Going under the car to the shifter. That's what you're gonna be breaking loose. That bolt right there. There we go. And there is just <laughs> no more shifter. Now what's tricky is we gotta get this off of the transmission. The instructions say you might have to lower the transmission to the ground to be able to get your hand above it. I'm gonna try avoiding that and we'll see how it goes. Many, many minutes later. One of the worst parts is probably over with. The whole thing is ready to come out, but I found out that underneath the trans tunnel, there is not enough room for this to actually come up off of the transmission and slide out. That's why they tell you to lower the transmission. So I'm gonna get those parts taken off and then we'll, we'll check back in. So now we get to the shifter. This is how you assemble your shifter. Literally just like this. Take it, shove it through. Bop, tighten those down all the way. There you have your shifter assembly. That's just the basis of it, but that's what it's gonna look like. Set it in place. <laughs> oh my God, that is going to be so wicked. Dude, I can't wait for this thing. All right, put those bolts in. So for this next part, we're actually going to need a torque wrench, but a little one. We don't need a big torque wrench. Now all we gotta do is just link up the shifter on the bottom, tighten it down, and we should have a functional shifter. That was it. That's the tightness right there. So if you see right here, there's a little thing. You can pull that up and down. That is your reverse lockout. And right now I can go from first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Holy shit, this is crispy. And then go all the way over to reverse with no lockout. So what you're gonna do first to adjust this is put your car 
into first gear and then screw it in on the right side. You wanna get it to where there's just a little bit of play going into first gear. And now for the other side of it, you're gonna take your shifter, put it in fifth gear. So now we're gonna screw this in until it is touching fifth gear or touching the reverse lockout. And then we're gonna back it off just a hair. Oh my God, I can't believe how notchy this thing is. Okay, we just got done installing the shifter. Nick ironically came down just at the right time. Come feel this shit. Before you touch it, your car has an identical transmission. I'm just pointing that out for you and everybody watching. Go ahead and feel it. Whoa. <laughs> That's how much that's how, travel you have? That's how short it is. You wanna know how far mine is? I've measured it. It's the distance of my hand. Really? That's how much travel I have <laughs> in mine. I'm like, meow, meow. Yeah, that thing's pretty nut. Oh my god, that's second gear. That's not neutral. Alright, yeah. look, look, what? Same exact transmission in neutral. We're just gonna go back. Oh my dude. It's been like an hour and I forgot how long the shifter used to be. Jesus Christ. All right, put this thing down, let's go. All right, let's drive this bitch. I'm gonna hop in the Mustang, get this thing out the way, and then we are going to get in the Z and start ripping around a little bit to see how it drives. Ooh, and that never gets old. Yeah! First gear. Oh yeah. Oh, that's money. That's money. The car is moving. Oh my God, that is the notchiest shifter. Holy shit. Oh my God. I, I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't prepared for the shifter to feel this good. I was expecting it to be like really notchy, not very smooth. I thought it was gonna be hard to get into gear, but no, that was, that was false. This thing's so easy to drive. and then put it in third gear after that. I gotta be careful not to mess up. Shifting this thing's 
like having sex or like just, I don't know. It's just so satisfying. Shit's gas. God, fuck. Ugh. 